thesmartlocal.com. Hey guys, I'm Brenda. And I'm Zane, and we're back again for another Insta Walk with M and D. Now this walk is a little special because we're taking a coastal journey along the northeastern region of Singapore which will bring us from Changi all the way to Pongo. And as you can tell, we are out really early to start our walk because we are trying to catch the sunrise. And I can't wait to see the beautiful views in the soft golden light of the sun. So dramatic. Are you ready, Brenda? I couldn't be more ready. Let's go! <laughs> There's no better place to enjoy the sunrise than along the coast, so that's why we're here at Changi Beach Park. Now, this park dates back to the 1600s, making it one of Singapore's oldest parks along the shore. Yep, and before long, the sun will rise and we'll be able to enjoy the spectacular view all around. So now let's go and find a spot to see the sunrise! Let's go! Because every time we touch, I get this feeling. No? I want to. Just a stone's throw away from the park is the start of Changi Point Coastal Walk. And over here you can set off on a scenic walk along the coast across six different trails that offer different views at each. And no matter where you are along the walk, you'll be able to find perfect vantage points to get a picturesque view of the sea. Sengkang Riverside Park offers visitors several trails where they can get up close and personal with the flora and fauna, including the many fruit trees that are planted all around the park. Located within the park is Sengkang Floating Wetland, which is actually the largest man-made wetland in Singapore. And what I really love about this location is this quirky fruit-themed rest stop. Bernice, what is one fun fact you learned about Sengkang Floating Wetlands? Just now Fauzi said something about the football field. Oh, I know! Half the size of a football Correct, field. Correct, so smart. Sengkang Floating Wetlands is half the size of a football field, like this whole area behind. Sculptures you see here at Sengkang Sculpture Park were inspired by the fishing village Sengkang used to be in the old days. And my personal favourite is the Will Inspire sculpture right behind us! <laughs> you have probably seen many of your friends posting photos of Coney Island all over social media since it first opened in 2015. But did you know that this park is very rich in history and biodiversity? Not only that, it's an ecologically sustainable park that focuses on the conservation of water and energy as well as retaining and recycling of natural elements in the park. I mean, look at the view! It is so beautiful and serene. Perfect for a morning stroll. Coney Island Park has an area of 81 hectares and it opened in 2015. The existing landscape was sensitively enhanced to create an ecologically sustainable park with a variety of habitats such as coastal forests, grasslands, mangroves and casuarina woodlands. A total of 80 species of birds have been spotted in the park. For example, the collared kingfisher, baya weaver, the common tailor bird and the long-tailed parakeet. To maintain the rustic nature of the park, several environmental initiatives have been introduced. So toilets in the park are zero energy and self-sufficient. This means that the electricity that is used to power the pumps for the toilets is generated by solar energy. Water that is used to flush the toilets is harvested from rainwater. And diffused sunlight is used to provide light indoors. And lastly, casuarina timber from uprooted trees have been collected and recycled to be made into nature play elements, park signages, benches, 
boardwalk as well as exhibits. So come on over to Coney Island Park. Last but not least, we are here at our final spot, Oasis Terraces. Located along the waterfront, it is the first new generation neighborhood center to be completed. And if you walk around, you'll understand why this is an all-in-one stop for everything. With tons of shopping and dining options, as well as a polyclinic within its premises. But for now, we'll be exploring some of the most photogenic locations for us to take some Insta-worthy pictures. Here we go! Fun fact, did you guys know that he actually won the World Building of the Year in 2015 because uh, of its structure, its design in the Experimental Future Project category? After a fun-filled morning, everyone is taking this time to upload their best photos onto Instagram. That's right, and I really can't wait to find out the three people you have taken the best shots today. But first, we're going to ask some of the participants what they think about today's walk. Let's, Let's go! go! What is like one thing that like you learn about the places you visited today? For example, the Sengang mm. Sculpture yeah. Park. I felt like it was a good um, way to actually understand how the sculptures actually depict how Singapore was before. Is there anything that you learned today? Well, for me, I stay in the northeast area, and for oh. all the places that we've visited today, yep. I've not been here before. Wow. Even the rooftop right behind us is something new to me. It's okay. Oasis, very pretty. Okay, uh, what is your favorite location out of all the places that we visited today? It's got to be Coney Island. Coney very Island. peaceful, filled with greenery. You guys should totally check it out. Nice. Give me a high five. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's it for another Insta Walk. Thank you, MND, HDB, and MPOX for making all of this possible. If you want to find out when and where the next Insta Walk will be, follow MND Singapore and the Smart Local SG on Instagram. Until, Until next time! time. Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh, wow. Bernice, give me a vote face. Wow, wow. Wow. Everybody, wow. <laughs> How was your photo? Ming Han! Occupational therapist by day, photographer by, by weekend. Night. Oh, oh. <laughs> How do you find it so far? You have to sing. I can sing. <laughs> and every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. Okay, okay, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>